in the landscape of 20th century spiritual thought. Few figures shine as intriguingly as Neville Goddard, a philosopher, mystic, and teacher whose ideas about the power of the mind and imagination have captivated seekers of spiritual truth for decades. Neville Lancelot Goddard, known simply as Neville to his followers, was born in 1905 on the small, picturesque island of Barbados in the West Indies. The fourth child in a family of nine boys and a girl, Neville grew up in an environment steeped in the colorful blend of Caribbean culture and British colonial influence. From these humble beginnings, Neville embarked on a journey that would take him far from the sandy shores of Barbados. In his late teens, he moved to New York City with a dream of studying drama and becoming an actor. It was in this bustling metropolis, amidst the glittering lights of Broadway, that Neville's spiritual awakening began. In the early 1930s, Neville encountered a mysterious Ethiopian rabbi named Abdullah, who introduced him to the principles of metaphysics and the power of the mind. Abdullah taught Neville the art of mental visualization and the belief that consciousness is the fundamental reality from which the physical world emerges. This marked a pivotal transformation in Neville's life and philosophy. Neville's teachings, deeply influenced by his mentor Abdullah, revolved around the concept that the human imagination is God. He believed that all individuals possess the divine ability to create their reality through the power of their thoughts and imagination. This idea, radical and empowering, formed the cornerstone of his philosophy. Throughout the 1940s and 50s, Neville traveled extensively across the United States, delivering lectures and conducting extensive speaking tours. His charismatic presence and profound oratory skills drew large crowds, eager to hear his unique interpretation of biblical scripture and the law of attraction. Neville's approach to the Bible was allegorical. He saw the stories and characters not as historical events or figures, but as symbolic representations of psychological and spiritual truths. He taught that by understanding and applying these truths, one could manifest their desires and achieve a state of higher consciousness. Key to Neville's teachings was the practice of visualization and the feeling of the wish fulfilled. He urged his followers to inhabit the state of their desired reality in their imagination, to feel it as if it were already true, thus bringing it into existence in the physical world. Despite his growing influence, Neville often stayed away from establishing formal institutions or organizations, preferring the role of an independent lecturer and teacher. His books, including The Power of Awareness and Awakened Imagination, encapsulated his teachings and continued to attract a following long after his death in 1972. Neville Goddard's legacy lies in his profound impact on the New Thought movement and metaphysical thought. His teachings on the power of imagination, consciousness, and the psychological interpretation of scripture continue to resonate with those seeking spiritual enlightenment and personal empowerment. In essence, Neville Goddard's life and work serve as a testament to the boundless potential of the human mind and spirit, a beacon for those navigating the seas of spiritual seeking and self-discovery. In the realm of metaphysical thought and spiritual exploration, Neville Goddard stands as a beacon of insight and inspiration. His teachings, profound and transformative, revolve around key concepts that delve into the power of the human mind and the fabric of reality. Let us embark on a journey through the core principles that define Neville Goddard's legacy. At the heart of Neville's philosophy lies the concept that the human imagination is God. This bold and revolutionary idea posits that the power to create and alter reality resides within each individual's imagination. According to Neville, our imagination is the divine force, the creator of our experiences and the shaper of our world. This principle challenges the conventional separation between the human and the divine, suggesting instead that they are intrinsically interconnected. Closely tied to this is the concept of assumption. Neville taught that by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled, you could bring that wish into reality. This means living and believing in the state of having already achieved your desires. It is a practice of mental and emotional alignment, a way of being that transcends mere wishing or hoping. Another cornerstone of Neville's teachings is the law of attraction, a concept that suggests that individuals attract into their lives events 
and circumstances that correspond to their prevailing beliefs, thoughts, and feelings. Neville's interpretation of this law was deeply psychological, emphasizing the subconscious mind's role in manifesting our external reality. Neville also offered a unique interpretation of the Bible, viewing it as a psychological drama rather than a historical document. He believed that the stories and characters in the Bible are symbolic representations of the psychological states and processes within each individual. This allegorical reading transforms biblical narratives into guides for personal development and spiritual growth. The power of revision forms another key aspect of his teachings. Neville advised revisiting past events in your mind and imagining them differently to positively affect your present and future. This practice is based on the belief that by altering our perception of past experiences, we can change our current reality and future outcomes. States of consciousness were also central to Neville's philosophy. He taught that reality is a reflection of our dominant state of consciousness, which can be shifted through imagination and belief. By changing our state of consciousness, we can change our experiences and circumstances. Lastly, Neville emphasized the impermanence of circumstances. He believed that no matter how fixed and unchangeable our current reality might seem, it is always subject to change through the power of imagination and belief. This concept offers a perspective of hope and empowerment, suggesting that we are not bound by our current circumstances, but can always create a new reality. In essence, Neville Goddard's teachings invite us on a transformative journey, one that redefines our understanding of reality, the divine, and our own potential. Through his key concepts of imagination as God, the law of assumption, the psychological interpretation of the Bible, the power of revision, states of consciousness, and the impermanence of circumstances, Neville offers a path to spiritual enlightenment and personal empowerment, grounded in the limitless potential of the human mind and spirit. In the intricate tapestry of Neville Goddard's life, a figure who championed the power of imagination and the depth of the human psyche, key relationships played pivotal roles, shaping his philosophy and teachings. These relationships, though few, were profound and significant, contributing to the development of his unique spiritual insights. First and foremost among these was his relationship with Abdullah, the enigmatic Ethiopian rabbi who Neville often credited as his mentor and spiritual teacher. This relationship, shrouded in mystery and lacking detailed historical documentation, was nevertheless pivotal in Neville's life. Abdullah introduced Neville to the concepts of metaphysics the law of attraction, and the interpretation of the Bible as a psychological rather than a historical text. It was Abdullah who, according to Neville, taught him the art of visualization and the belief that imagination creates reality. This mentorship fundamentally transformed Neville's worldview and set him on his path as a spiritual teacher. Another significant relationship in Neville's life was with his family, particularly his brothers. Neville was one of ten children and his family played a crucial role in his early years in Barbados. The influence of his family, especially in terms of the value placed on spiritual and religious beliefs, can be seen in the development of his philosophical and spiritual perspectives. Moreover, his move from Barbados to New York, a decision that dramatically changed his life's trajectory, was initially driven by his aspiration to study drama a pursuit supported by his family. In terms of personal and romantic relationships, Neville was relatively private. However, his marriage to his second wife, who was vitally important in his life, marked a significant personal relationship. She not only supported him in his spiritual journey, but also played a crucial role in managing the practical aspects of his lecture tours and publications. This partnership, though not extensively documented, was evidently a source of stability and support in Neville's life. Neville's relationships with his students and followers also formed a significant part of his life. Unlike many spiritual leaders of his time, Neville did not seek to establish a formal institution or organization. Instead, he preferred direct interaction with his audience, delivering lectures and engaging in conversations. These relationships were not hierarchical, but were based on the exchange of ideas and mutual exploration of spiritual truths. 
The profound impact he had on his followers is a testament to the depth and resonance of these interactions. Lastly, Neville's relationship with the broader New Thought movement and contemporary spiritual thinkers was complex and multifaceted. While he was a part of this movement and influenced by it, he also maintained a distinct identity within it. His interpretations of scripture and his emphasis on imagination set him apart from other New Thought authors and lecturers of his time. In summary, the key relationships in Neville Goddard's life with his mentor Abdullah, his family, his wife, his students and followers, and his contemporaries in the spiritual movement each played a crucial role in shaping his philosophy and teachings. These relationships were the crucible in which his ideas were formed and refined, contributing to the legacy of a man who believed profoundly in the power of the human imagination and the limitless potential of the human spirit.